simulator, node level simulator, NS2 and its extension to sensor network, limitations of NS2. Simulator Any device or system that simulates specific conditions or the characteristics of real process or machine for the purposes of research or operator training space is called simulator. There are two types of simulator, real simulator and non-real-time simulator. The real-time simulator refers to a computer model of a physical system that can execute at the same rate as actual wall clock time. In other words, the computer model runs at the same rate as the actual physical system. For example, if we take tank takes 10 minutes to fill the real world, the simulator would also take 10 minutes as well. Also shown is a flight simulator. Node level simulator. Node level design methodologies are usually associated with simulators that simulate the behavior of a sensor network on a peer node basis. Using simulation, designers can quickly study the performance, that is in terms of timing, power, bandwidth and scalability of potential algorithms without implementing them on actual hardware and dealing with the various of actual physical phenomena. A node level simulator typically has following components, sensor node model, communication model, Physical Environment Model Statistics and Visualization A node in a simulator acts as a software execution platform, a sensor host, as well as communication terminal in sensor node model. In order for designers to focus on the application level code, a node model typically provides or simulates a communication protocol state. Sensor behavior, that is the sensing noise and operating systems services. If nodes are mobile, then the position and motion properties of the nodes need to be modeled. If energy characteristics are a part of design consideration, then the power consumption of the node needs to be modeled. Communication model. Depending on the details of modeling, communication may be captured at different levels. The most elaborate simulator model, the communication media at the physical layer simulating the RF propagation delay and collision of, uh, and collision of simultaneous transmission. Alternatively, the communication may be simulated at the MAC layer or network layer using, for example, stochastic process to represent low level behaviors. Physical Environment Model A key element of environment within a sensor network operates in a physical phenomena of interest. The environment can also be simulated at various levels of details. For example, a moving object in the physical world may be abstracted into a point single source. The motion of point single source may be modeled by different equations or interpolated from trajectory profile. Statistics and visualization. The simulation results need to be collected for analysis since the goal of simulation is typically to de derive global properties from the execution of individual nodes. Visualizing global behavior is extremely important. An ideal visualization tool should also be used to easily observe on demand the spatial distribution and mobility of the nodes, the connectivity among the nodes, link qualities, end-to-end -end connection, routes and delays, phenomena and their spatial temporal dynamic, sensor reading on each other, sensor node states and node lifetimes, for example, battery power.
A sensor simulator simulates the behavior of a subsystem of sensor nodes with respect to time. Depending on how the time is advanced in simulation, there are two types of execution models. Cycle-driven simulation, discrete event simulation. Cycle-driven simulation. A cycle-driven simulation is describes the continuous notion of real time into typically regularly spaced ticks and simulates the system behavior at these ticks. At each tick, the physical phenomena are first simulated and then all the nodes are checked to see if they have anything to sense, process or communicate. Sensing and computation are assumed to be finished before the next tick. Sending a packet is also measured to be completely completed by then. However, the packet will not be available for the destination node until next tick. This split phase communication is a key mechanism to reduce cyclic dependency that may occur in driven cycle driven simulation. Discrete event simulation. A discrete event DE simulator assumes that the time is continuous and an event may occur at any time. An event is tutable with a value and a st time stamp indicating when the event is supposed to be handled. Components in a discrete event simulator react to input event and produce output event. If node level simulators, a component can be sensor node and the events can be Communicated communication packets or a component can be software module within and the events can be message passing among these nodes. Typically, components are casual in the sense that if an output event is computed from an input event, then the timestamp of the output should be earlier than the input event. Now, causal components require simulators to be able to to roll back in time and worse. They may not define a deterministic behavior of a system. A discrete event simulator typically requires a global event queue. All events passing between the nodes or modules are put in event queue and sorted according to their chronological order. At each iteration of simulation, the simulator removes the first event from the queue and triggers the component that reacts to that event. In terms of behavior, timing behavior, a discrete event simulator is more accurate than a cycle-driven simulator or a CD simulator and as consequence, DE simulators run slower. The overhead of ordering all events and computation in addition to the values and timestamps usually dominates the computation time. CD simulation, that is the cycle driven simulator, usually requires less complex components and get, give faster simulation. These simulations are sometimes considered as good as actual implementation because of their continuous notion of time and discrete notion of events. There are several open source of commercial simulator available. One class of these simulator comprises extension of classical network simulator such as NS2, JSIM, GLOMOSIM. The focus of these simulators is on network modeling protocol stacks and simulation performance. Another class of simulator, sometimes called as software in the loop simulator, incorporate the actual node software into the simulation. For this reason, they are typically attached to particular hardware platform and are less portable. Examples include TOSUM for Berkeley mode. NS2, Network Simulator 2 and its extension to Sensor Network. The NS2, that is the Network Simulator 2, is a well-known network simulator for discrete event simulation. Simulations are based on combination of C++ and OTCL. 
NS2 includes a large number of simulated network protocol and tools used for simulating transport control protocol that is TCP, routing algorithm, multicast protocol over the wire or wireless network. NS2 is committed to OSI model simulation, including the behavior of physical layer and its free open source software and available for free download. Limitations of NS2 It puts some restrictions on the customization of packet format, energy model, MAC protocol and the sensing hardware model which limits its flexibility. The lack of an application model makes it ineffective in environments that require interaction between applications and the network protocol. It does not run real hardware code. It has been built by many developers and contains several inherent known and unknown bugs. It does not scale well for WSN due to its objective oriented design. Using C++ code and ODCL script make it difficult to use. Actually, NS2 was initially designed to simulate wireless sensor network, but a few researcher groups have extended NS2 in order to enable it to support wireless sensor network simulator, including sensor model, battery model, a small stack, and hybrid simulation tools. It is extensible but not very scalable because of the split programming model and object-oriented structure. In addition, because NS2 can simulate very detailed data packet close to the exact number of running packet, it is unable to carry out large-scale network simulation. To overcome the above drawbacks, the improved NS2 simulator was developed NS3 supports simulation and emulation. It is totally written in C++ while users can use Python script to define simulation. Hence, transferring NS2 implementation to NS3 requires manual intervention. Besides the scalability and performance improvement, simulation nodes have the ability to support multiple radio interference and multiple channel. Further, NS2 3, NS3 supports a real-time schedule that makes it possible to interact with real system. For example, a real network device can emit and receive NS3 generated packets. Here are some of the screenshots of Network Simulator 2. And we see that there are many number of nodes the number of nodes are defined by us. The environment can be static or dynamic. It shows how the data are transmitted, from which node to which node the data are transmitted, how the cluster heads are formed, how the broadcast takes place, and the packet gets dropped, how the congestion also takes place. So everything could be defined by us and could be viewed by us on a simulator.